Hello there, Dr. Mendenhall here. I would like to start out this introduction of chapter nine with reminding you that you have your vocabulary. You could either cut out each one like these or you could leave it as a whole page. And there's tracing for each word on the back. This is excellent practice to get those words in your head. And then you also have the standard, the idea that we're gonna cover it is right over here, let me show you. Right here, here's our standard. Okay, so we are trying to classify objects into categories and also count them. Counting is an earlier standard. Now we wanna be able to sort things and then count each group, okay? And these are the mathematical practices or principles that we always try to make sure we're following. That is making sense, that we're being accurate, that we're to the point. These are all really important. One of them happens to be that we are involving real life objects when we learn. And this lesson is one of those where we can do that because we can sort all kinds of things. In fact, the first thing that came to my mind when it came to sorting was my silverware, right? We have forks, knives, spoons, and sometimes we have more than one size. So that might be something that you might wanna look at later. So here's your get ready page. This is just a review for listening, right? Okay, so we're just gonna practice first doing X's and O's. Sometimes we're asked to mark out something, and sometimes we're asked to circle something, and we really need to listen. Are we doing length? Are we doing height? Are we doing weight? Are we doing capacity? How much a container can hold? What is it we're sorting by? Maybe it's shapes. Maybe it's colors. We could sort by all kinds of things. So we really have to be listening to the directions. So let's look at number two. I'm going to read from my paper here. You're going to look at your worksheet. Circle the car, draw an X on the tree. So this is about listening. What do we do with the car? Circle it. And what do the directions say about the tree? Okay, cross it out. Now, when might we do this? If we were trying to sort non-living things, a car is not alive, with a living thing, like a tree, which is, we could circle the car because it's not alive, right? Or maybe um, things that get us places. You know, we take cars in order to travel from place to place. So if I was trying to sort by ways I can travel and ways I don't, well, the car is going to move, right? And the tree isn't. It's not very fast. So I would take the car. So here's next listening activity. I'm on number three and I see four things to look at. Let me look at the direction. Color the truck red. All right, you'll have to do that. I don't have a red pen. Color the ball blue. I do have blue. I'm gonna start coloring my ball here. You color your ball. So the truck was red, the ball's blue. You can color better than I can. Color the bird yellow. Well, I don't have a yellow, so get out a yellow crayon, color that root yellow. And color the flower purple. So maybe we'll be sorting things by color and we need to be listening to and thinking about what our colors are, huh? If you need to pause me, I'm gonna move on to number four. I see a cat and I see a house. I'm curious. Number four, circle the object that is small. Hmm, okay. This cat is smaller than the house. So I'm gonna circle it. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. One of the ways that we sort all the time that we may not think about is when we do recycling, right? We might put plastic in this one and glass in this one, and there's sometimes one for cans, right? Aluminum cans. This one has paper down here. Here's my paper sort. 
and this one is cans, and this one is bottles. So quite often, we sort all the time and we don't even think about it, okay? So we can do it by large or by small, or we can do it by what it's made out of, all kinds of things. Here's your words again. You can leave them on the page like this, or you can cut them out. Make sure you are writing your words on the back. The ones I wanna point out are this one is alike, this one is different. We kept the one that had the three that looked alike. We crossed out the one that had things that were different. Okay, so the bears are alike. Over here, we wanted to keep what was different and cross out what was alike. Okay, here we go. On to the lesson. So here's your uh, foldable paper. Okay, and I first did my cut just so I can have these little pieces because I didn't want to lose them ahead of time. You might want to cut all the way down first. Oh, let me find it. So here's my green line. I'm going to cut these off and I'll, it will give me all these shapes that we can work with. Right? And here's my page. Okay. Here's my little pieces. If you need to pause me, pause me because we're going to be using some of these later. So this is a good thing to have. Let me make sure I have all these. Oh, look, I have some green triangles. I have another triangle too, right? I have kind of an orange looking triangle. All right. So we have here a placemat that we can put things on if we want to compare two things. Okay, so if I'm looking at this page, which is page uh, six, 539, excuse me, I'm on chapter nine, lesson one, we can do alike and different. We could do it on this page or we could do it over here on our tree. Okay, so. I need to put all the things that are alike on the same side. So I could say, these circles are gonna be my alike group. I'm gonna put them on my tree. Over here, they're on my tree. Okay. And I'm gonna say my triangles are different. Now, I could put it the other way. I could say my triangles are alike, they're one group. Or I could go by color. I could say my yellow ones are alike and my other ones are different. So I'm gonna say my, my same group is gonna be the yellow circles. So then all my other shapes are on the other side, okay? I hope you use tape or glue because mine are not moving around much. But you know what, we might need these later, so maybe not. Okay. So I have shapes here and I can do alike and different. So I can compare. All right, let me move my scissors to a safe place. Okay, alike and different. Here we go. Here's our two vocabulary words, right? We have alike and different, okay. All right, now we can see it a little bit better. Alike and different. Oh, what is this helmet doing here? This doesn't work here. Okay, I can see what they're doing. Do you see what they're doing? Yeah, this one is different than the other three. And here are the three that are alike, right? All right, you do the same thing on your paper. I think I see what we are doing. I'm gonna look at the directions though. You go ahead and do that tracing. All right. It says to cross out the one that's different and tell why it doesn't belong. So I'm gonna say the football helmet does not belong because it is not a cone shape. The other things are cone shapes. Go ahead and tell your teacher parent why you think it doesn't belong. All right, let's look at numbers two and three. 
look at the objects, circle the objects that are alike, draw an X to the one that is different, and tell why it doesn't belong. Pause me here and go ahead and do two and three. All right, I hope you did those two. I'm gonna do the cross it out part. You already know the rest is circling part. We're gonna move on. All right, here we are. Okay, number four, and I do want you to practice doing some of this on your own. Wait a minute, what's on the end there? Is that a pink bunny and the teddy bears? Hmm. And on number five, they're all green squares. So is there something different? Or are they all the same? Hmm. And look at number six. They're all lion cubs. So what's different with that? Hmm. Oh, I think I have it. Let me read and you mark yours. Okay. Look at the objects. Circle the objects that are alike and draw an X through the ones that is different, one that is different. Tell why it doesn't belong. All right, do that one, please. Okay, did you see that this one only has two? Oops, let me get my pen out. This one only has two little dots on the button here, right? The other ones have four little open hole dots. So I think that's why that one's different. Okay. This one looks hilarious. This goat looks like he wants to eat the four shirts. Hmm. They all seem to have something in common. Hmm. And something missing. The horse wants to eat the five apples. Do you see something that's alike and something that's different? The pig wants to eat the four things over here in the trough. Is there anything that's alike or different? Hmm. Look at each group of objects near each animal. Circle the objects that are alike. Draw an X to an object that is different and tell why it does not belong. Point to the shirt that is different. Okay, let's find the shirt. Oh, here it is. So we're supposed to cross it out because it's different. All right. And it said to draw it in. I'm gonna use blue here. I'm not sure I can draw sleeves. All right, well, we'll just do our best, huh? Okay. There's my sleeves. And my sleeves have stripes. Well, sort of. You can do a better job than I can. So you go right ahead. Woo, crazy. My goodness. Okay, so there, I did it. Draw the missing parts to make it the same as the other shirts. We did that. Okay, so the shirt was different. Which apple is different? Mm, the green one. And which food down here is different? The pumpkin is different. Doesn't mean it's bad, just different. Okay, good. Let's move on. Okay, we're getting to the homework. I can see the fish are the same and the star is different, right? How about these chairs? Do you see one that's different? Do you think maybe sometimes we could have more than one that's different? Yeah, it just depends, right? Oh, flying machines, one's different. Oh, butterflies, those are all pretty, but one's different. We're gonna find what's alike, circle what's alike, right? And here we're gonna find the one that's different, okay? This word is alike, this word is different. Okay. That is our lesson for alike and different. See you next time.